Hey, what's up, guys? My name's John. Welcome to Daily Theology. Wayne Grudem is officially responding to John Piper. Now, the two are friends, but you need to know Wayne Grudem is one of the kindest, most humble people you will ever meet, and he's also my favorite systematic theologian. Just know that they care about each other, they're on good terms, and they are friends. But he goes point by point through Piper's Swiss cheese arguments and basically politely and kindly tears them down. Point number one is Grudem's strongest point, and I think it's the one that we all intuitively understood. He says the claim that the person Personal sins of a leader can be as harmful as the person and nation as normally evil laws. Well, Grudem says this, there's a difference between the personal influence of a leader's example, which can be rejected, and laws that compel obedience. This is exactly the point. When you're voting for a politician, they are by definition policy makers. You cannot go off of conjecture of their personality. It's actually the law that compels obedience. I don't have to emulate the bombastic personality of Trump. I don't have to emulate his lifestyle. But I cannot disobey his laws in theory and not suffer legal consequences. This is intuitively what's wrong with socialism. You don't have a choice. You're basically compelled to the gulag or, you know, I know that's communism, but they're going to end up in the same place. So Grudem makes that point. One point Grudem, the fight's over for Piper. Point two, though, he says the claim voting either candidate would compromise a person's Christian witness. If a significant number of evangelicals follow John Piper's example, it will guarantee a Biden victory. This is the second point, and I believe this, the second strongest point of this article. Uh, this is the point. If evangelicals don't vote, it is a vote for Biden. This is the fallacy of A or B, I'll take C. There is no neutrality. If you don't vote Trump, who is more conservative and for patriotism and for free speech, which I'm not saying patriotism is our goal, but he's for uh, basic conservative ideals, then it is a vote for Biden because if there's a pool of voters and you need those voters to win and you say, well, I'm not going to vote or vote for a third party, then you will ensure Biden wins. It's a vote for Biden by non-voting. If that doesn't make sense, think about that again. There is no neutral. So in summary, uh, policy is what you're voting on, primarily, first and foremost. Character does matter, but we're not voting for a Messiah. Our hope as believers is in Jesus Christ, who is fully God, fully man, canceled the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it. <laughs> To the cross, he died, rose on the third day. We're voting for a politician that hopefully can maintain some semblance of free speech, some semblance of personal rights and personal property, some semblance of anti-abortion policies. And uh, so Piper, again, way off on his article, totally wrong, guaranteeing a Biden victory through this type of rhetoric. And you got to give him some credit, though. Maybe he was having a bad day. Piper is phenomenal. I love Piper. I don't love this article. I think the article was terrible. He would have been better off printing off the article and then just eating the article. He didn't need to actually publish this thing. Uh, but Grudem, in love, came out and I think corrected a lot of what Piper had said, which we all, I think, agree or most of us agree with. So thanks for watching. Please remember to hammer that like button, like the 95 Theses. And if you have not yet, please subscribe to this channel. It would help us greatly to reach more people. Thank you and God bless.